Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for tuning in and I really appreciate you guys taking your time and tuning to my YouTube channel. So I'm back again with another video. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at HP Elite Book 840G4. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because uh, there are a lot of people who are looking for recommendations on what laptop they're going to get. And I've realized there's a lot of students in that group of people who are asking me this question, like what kind of laptop should they get? So my recommendations were just, you know, between two options. It's either I recommend you get a MacBook, depending on the price, and also get like an HP laptop, which is, this is one of them. So this is the uh, HP Elite Book uh, at 40 g 4 that I have here with me. So I've been having this machine for like about uh, two years now, and it still works great. So I'm using this in particular uh, because of, the factors that I'm going to share with you now. So basically the laptop that I have here with me has in the following specifications and the things that I find in uh, come in handy for a student or someone who's in academic. So this laptop is going to be your new classroom. So you will need something which is uh, reliable and something that actually performs better. So the one I have with me in particular has a processor of Core i5 7th generation. So it also has an 8 gig RAM. So initially it came in with a 4 gig RAM as a standard and then upgraded it to another, I added another 4 gig RAM to make it 8. And then it's a DDR4, which makes it faster and great. So you can actually get it up to 32 gig if you want and if you have the price uh, to actually afford it. So you can get it to 32 gigs of RAM if you need to. And in terms of storage, this one holds the capacity of like 500 gig. It's not a solid state drive, but it's a mechanical drive. Uh, however, it still works better. I haven't loaded this with anything. I think I have like about um, 370 free space on this laptop. So I don't store anything on it. So that space is enough. So if you have a lot of files that you're going to use for your studies and everything that you need to have for your academics, uh, that capacity of the storage that I'm referring to or that I'm talking about should be enough and sufficient for you to store uh, your ebooks as well as your videos that you're going to download because definitely you're not going to be uh, going online each time to watch some videos. Some of those that you can download, you will download and store them offline and you will be able to download as much as you can of the material that you require from online and store them here. And the one I have in particular, it's running Windows 10 64 bit. Uh, that's a Windows 10 Pro version of OS that I have in here. So it's, I think it's version 19 or 9 of the OS build that I have in here with me. So it's basically getting updates each time I connect it to the, to the internet and it still performs well. It has most of the ports. It's not that much of a bulky laptop and that's simply because it doesn't have a, a CD-ROM. So most of the computers that have a DVD or CD-ROM, they tend to be bulky and be big and heavy when it comes to the uh, to the weight. But this one I have in here with me, it's very well something that you can carry with you anyway. So it makes it easier uh, in the positions that you want to work with. So if you don't have a study table or obviously because this is going to be a new classroom, you'll be able to work in different positions uh, at your place so be it in bed be it on your uh, kitchen counter or dining table sitting on the couch you can even put it on on your hips while you're working on this laptop so it's easier for you to move with it around without any challenges and it won't bring any strains to you so i'm saying that from experience i've been having this for like about two years now uh, so the display size that it has it, it's 14 inch so that's actually how we count it diagonally. That's 14 inch screen. Uh, it's an LED and then it's an anti glare. So which means you are able to sit in multiple uh, position and then you won't get the glares of the light hitting your face. So it's something that you can consider when you, you're actually looking at the laptop. One of the things that's gonna be in common when most of us are studying and working from home will be things that will require to join online classes as well as having discussion doing work meetings and doing live stream and all those kind of things so one of the things that will be a challenge or that you will need to have is to have like a good camera as well as a good microphone so this laptop that i have here with me has a good microphone and the dual speakers so we have speaker on this side as well as on the uh, left hand side so you have a speaker on the right hand side of the laptop as well as on the left hand side so it gives you that good surround audible audio 
that you can listen and actually understand what the next person is saying and then the other good thing that it's packed with it has a, a, a dual array microphone so which means where the microphones are situated next to the webcam it's actually two of them that's able to catch your sound or your voice uh, without being limited on which direction that uh, your voice is coming from so you might not have to sit directly to the laptop or you might not have to sit and speak directly into the microphone uh, it will be able to pick from multiple or side angles and another feature that uh, helps with that it's what we call hp noise cancelling software that comes in pre-installed that helps you with the noise cancelling when you speak into the microphone because of course the microphone on the laptops are not that much great because i just like for the laptop so unless if you are or uh, you are opting on getting an external microphone but if you are depending on the internal one hp can help with that noise cancelling uh, software that comes in with the laptop to actually have a great sound that's you know projected to the to, to the next person and it also features a sound boost on the speaker so you can actually boost your sound depending on how much of the sound that you want otherwise you can opt on getting like a bluetooth speaker or connect to your home theater system that you have at home so in terms of the slots that the laptop has so it only has two slots so i'm not talking about the ports yet i'm talking about the slots it has like two slots but one slot is for the sd card uh, which is situated right here at the bottom and then another one is for the sim card which is right here where you actually put in a sim card so these two slots comes in handy for those who will need to have uh, some information transferred from their phone into the computer and then also for connectivity to the internet so apart from the laptop having the wi-fi and ethernet port you can still use your sim card to put into the laptop it takes in a micro sim card and then you'll be able to connect to the internet uh, using the sim card from the provider that you purchase from so this laptop packed in with great features that are good for a student as well as uh, for someone who is an academic as well as anybody else who are uh, is working from home and another thing that the laptop comes with it's the uh, it's a power supply it comes with a 45 uh, watt power supply or a charger that is light with i just don't have it here with me but it's actually light so it's something that you can you can you can put it in your bag if you have to move around and the good part about it is it's quite long it's long enough for you to plug it further than where you are sitting and you can also strangle it so that it doesn't trip anybody who's gonna pass in on your way yeah so another great feature that i like about this laptop it's the battery the battery capacity of this laptop lasts you for 15 hours 15 minutes that's what hp said but i've noticed that it has lost me uh, long enough to say i've gone for like eight hours working on this laptop i know i'm not heavy on it but i think it was sufficient enough for me to do most of the work for the day which is uh very very good uh the battery it's a built-in battery so it's not the kind of a battery that you can remove uh out of the laptop so it's built in you have to open the laptop cover and then remove the battery and then i don't know why you would need to remove the battery but you can you can actually increase the battery size like the ones that they have an extender and then you can have more watts on the battery so this one is not it's built in so this whole laptop uh so let me just give you an idea how many ports it has so it has a uh us usb c port it has a display port that you can connect for uh displaying on the external monitor uh 3.5 dual port so this port allows you both microphone as well as the the, the the audio or headphones and then you have a normal usb a and then ethernet port to plug in your network cable and then you also have in your dock port where you can dock it into your dock station as well as the sim port that we talk about or sim card slot and then charger port and then at the bottom here we find uh an sd card slot and then on this other side that's where you find in the grids of the processor so the processor brief from the left hand side and then it has an additional vga port for your display so to plug into uh, legacy display monitors or tvs you can still connect this to that and then it has an additional usb a port so all these things that i just said now they're all packaged on a 1.48 kilogram laptop so it's not that heavy uh, you can just I'm sure you can see that it's light and this laptop 
at the moment is going for about 16,500 rand and I can tell some of you will be saying like 16,500 rand it's a lot of money but now I'm bringing to you something that you're gonna use almost every day so you need something that's gonna be reliable something that you can depend on so it's not gonna be something that you're gonna use once in a while it's gonna be like you know your daily bread so yeah I would recommend someone to get this laptop if you have that money there are other cheap laptops that you can get but i don't think they would be reliable and they will last longer uh is this laptop would so this is not a sponsored video by hp but it's something that i'm giving you uh recommendations based on the experience that i've had with this device so let me know what you think let me know if you need me to cover certain part about this laptop or any other laptop i'll see if i can find it and then i do a review if you need any advice uh, any information that I can share with you, um, let me know in the comment section below and then I'll make sure that I reply to those comments. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video. You Bye. say I'm making nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved. Someone to clean up and tame Oh, some things never change Never change oh. You think I would look pretty On your arm once you cover up my bruises And battle scars But it always ends the same Can't bear the things I've had to face Got you crying on your knees in pain Oh, some things never change Never change Oh, you'll break your